Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Keikaku Corner with Matt Marrero and Tristan Walter and wave to the fans, Tristan. Wave to wave to all of our 10 to 12 to 20 dedicated listeners. I don't know how many we have. Uh, we're, we're building, yeah, we're building up something, all right. Woo! Um, so anyway, just uh, want to thank you all for watching another episode or listening if you're listening to us uh, through Blog Talk Radio. And uh, today we're going to start off with sort of a very interesting topic uh, for this episode of Keikaku Corner. It's a topic that you and I actually don't have much attachment to, funnily enough, but uh, the reason why I wanted to bring it up is because I noticed a lot of people getting mad about it online, and I also noticed the date, not of the article, but of the year that we're in. We're in the year of 2017. And uh, there's a show called Glitter Force Doki Doki, which is actually based off of the show Precure, uh, specifically Doki Doki Precure. And uh, this show is currently on Netflix now. Tristan, I know, like, you're not a fan of this show. He can be, but he's not, right? I haven't heard of it before this point, so yeah. Damn. Uh, no, because I've because I've heard of it because I know a lot of people that are interested in it. Because you know, I um, it's basically if anyone doesn't know what Precure is, it's basically like Sailor Moon, except for I would argue an even younger audience. Although maybe it's just the way Sailor Moon came out in the U.S., but I mean, it was for kids in Japan, to be fair. Um, but yeah, so Sailor Moon, it, it's for the same crowd, um, so, you know, so, you know, people will say, oh, it's for little girls, but, like, look, anyone can watch the show if they want to. I don't watch the show, you don't watch the show, but anyone can, it's not, like, I'm not gonna judge them for watching the show. What I will judge, however, is, uh, Saban's localization choices, <laughs> because, look, I mean, you know, Saban has the show, it's 2017, it's on Netflix, and I'm not saying that they should be taking some more risque stuff, I understand, if they want to censor little bits here and there because it is a kid's show. Uh, right. But my problem, I think, is the fact that when you censor so much, uh, because they actually ended up, I believe it was, there was like 16 episodes released thus far on Netflix. Yeah, I'm sorry, 15 on Netflix. But apparently they cut out some filler, so they should be up to 21 in the original show. So a lot of people are upset about this. They also changed some names, which again... Saban, uh, they changed some names, and I think they were Americanized names already, so like Alice to Mary or something like that, so it wasn't even like anything, okay. yeah, yeah, so it wasn't anything even overly, it's weird, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was, uh, the evil organization was, uh, because they were based on card motifs, they were known as the, I think it was like the Trump uh, kingdom, which I understand why in America you... Yeah, because it's kind of like, no, Trump means Trump cards. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. so I get it, right? Because right? obviously some people might be like, Trump, Trump kingdom. So well, I get it. Yeah. yeah, I get it, right? Changing that to just the kingdom. But changing people's names, removing other episodes, even if it's like, no, but they're clip shows. I, look, you know, or the clip episodes. I'm still just not a fan of editing it this way because... My whole thing is, because it's on Netflix, uh, and I'm pretty sure, and maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that when a show's on Netflix and it's an exclusive, you're usually not going to get a DVD release at all. Right. Usually. Uh, so what that means is, is that a show like this is not like it's going to get uh, a subbed release online. I'm sorry, well, I'm sorry, subbed release on DVD legally. So that means right. that fans of this show aren't really able to support it legally because, you know, they're getting a dub that's not really being made for them. Also, I'm pretty sure this show is not on Crunchyroll. I believe Crunchyroll does have some of the, um, of the Precure series. Because Precure is actually, uh, Tristan, funny story, Precure's been going on for a long time now. Like, since the mid-2000s. So it's not like it's anything new. It's just that, yeah. obviously, it's not, you know, uh, something that you and I would watch. But, um, but yeah, my whole, like, the reason why I'm freaking out about this, or, like, it seems like I'm freaking out, is just because of the fact that, again, we're in 2017, I feel like these kind of anime dubs where things get localized to the point where it's just, like, you know, a rice ball and stuff like that. I feel, I'm sorry, yeah. or a donut, sorry, a donut. Yeah. Uh, you know, for me, it's kind of just like, all right, it's, it's, you know, we I thought we moved past that. Right. I thought it was a rite of passage at this point. Like, that's how you have to start out as a child with anime, and then you slowly work your way into other series and realize, oh no, that's not how that was. That wasn't a donut at all! You know, it's funny. I actually... I agree with you there. So you've won that argument. You win. I actually agree with you there. Um, 
Even though you, it's funny, you were trying to make a joke, but it's actually, I actually agree with you there. It's kind of like a, a rite of passage, you know? But the reason why it frustrates me um, is just the fact that, again, there's probably not going to be a legal alternative. So, like, I'm not saying this version can't exist. Technically, I'm not saying it shouldn't exist. I'm just saying more so that I'm a bigger fan when there's legal alternatives. So, like, Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Yu-Gi-Oh continues to get adaptations that are, you know, for kids eyes even though for kids really exists as a branch of Saban because Saban, uh, Saban brought them out a while ago still they end up getting that for like for kids sanitation but guess what you can find them on Crunchyroll so right. yeah so that's my thing right you can find them on Crunchyroll so who cares but I'm pretty sure these are not on Crunchyroll so you know it's really hard for fans to get a legal fix or for others who want to be fans of the show not get a version that's been completely changed. Um, and also, just before we wrap things up, I heard a, a rumor, I heard something through the grapevine, that Saban didn't even really want this license. So, uh, again, I, just, I heard about it, you know, um, through some people on the internet, which, by the way, you know, believe everything you read there. Uh, so, I, so I heard that because Saban wanted the rights to Digimon, and, you know, the rights back, and Digimon is owned by Toei, Pretty Cure is also owned by Toei. So they kind of struck a deal, which happens sometimes, uh, where, you know, you'll want one show that's kind of big, and a company will say, hey, how about you get some of these? Uh, and it's funny, because Pretty Cure, uh, the original Pretty Cure and Season 2 are on Crunchyroll. Uh, also, the um, a Pretty Cure, I believe, back in the day, was had a potential, or had the potential of being picked up by four kids. So there was a, there was... A chance that it was going to happen but I don't know why it didn't work out uh, something fell through clearly because it doesn't exist in America uh, dubbed anyway so sadly it didn't get brought over back then and now I guess it was just another chance for Saban to bring it out and this is not the first one that Saban did he did uh, one last year called Glitter Force or the year before that called Glitter Force and people were upset about that because you know again the same shtick and now that he has the rights to this one as well, apparently in the story they're trying to connect the two, but these two don't have any connection. So there's no oh, connection. Geez. Yeah. So it's just oh. like um, it's just like the Digimon movie, the first one. Oh right. Oh jeez. Yes. Yeah. So they're trying to make small connections between both shows. And now oh. look, I'm gonna be very fair though. The shows do have connections in the same way that Super Sentai do, like when they end up having those uh, versus specials and they bring right. them together, they, they connect there, but they don't connect in the main show itself. So there's really no reason to try and do that, and it's kind of, uh, from what I've heard, that's what they're trying to do, or what Saban's trying to do. So yeah. it's, you know, while I'm not a fan, I feel for the fans. 